So let's go back to Galatians, the fifth chapter. Chapter. That was very good. Woo, took a lot out of me. That's some good stuff. There'll be more at the men's conference. And you captains, y'all better get ready. I'm calling y'all on the spot. Y'all going to be called on the carpet. So, oh, I don't know about men's conference. I don't, I don't worry. There's going to be a little chair for you, bro. You're going to be okay. The little chair. Remember, oh, you weren't there? Were you there for the little chair, what I thought? How many of y'all saw the little chair, what I thought? Oh, that was, you see there? It's all right, Deke. It's okay. Trying to forget, trying to forget. <laughs> He's trying to, trying to forget. He's prayed and fasted. Okay. Where are we at? Obviously, um, <laughs> Galatians chapter 5 and verse 11. We in verse 11? Yes, sir. And I, wait, brother, wait, 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 wait. Verse 10 again. I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be none otherwise minded. But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. Mm -hmm. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer, suffer persecution? Then it is the offense of the cross ceased. I would, I would they were even cut off, which trouble you. Now, read verse uh, 11 again. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? He said, if I went around preaching circumcision, the old covenant, why am I being persecuted? Okay. Why do I yet suffer persecution? Go ahead. Then is the offense of the cross ceased. Right. Now watch this. Go to Galatians 6, verse 12. Watch this. This is the flip side. Galatians chapter 6, verse 12. As many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised. Only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. They said it's better to preach circumcision than Christ because if we preach Christ, we're going to be persecuted. Understand, when you preach the true gospel, you will be persecuted. I want all you men and women to understand that you're, there's no escape out of this thing. Find me the scripture about... Uh, Put one brother on the left hand, Lord, and put the mother that came to Christ. She said, put one of my sons on your left hand and put one on the right. Find me that. Find me that. It just popped in my mind. Just popped in my mind. I'm going to show you our persecution. There's going to be persecution. We're not getting the kingdom off for free. Where are we going? Matthew 20, 21. All right, watch this. Matthew chapter 20, verse 20. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with so, her So now the mothers were very important. They were around Christ all the time. You had many women that followed Christ. Sometimes brothers think it was only men. No, there was women there too. Go ahead. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She saith unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on, thy, on the left in thy kingdom. But Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are you able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, We are able. So the drink and the baptism was mockery, death, humiliation. Y'all understand that? That's what comes by being a follower of Christ. Remember he said in Matthew 24, you shall be hated of what? All, All nations for my name's sake. You're not going to be a true disciple of Christ and be loved by the world. Impossible. Because the gospel is about our people resurrecting and ruling the earth. You think the, other, the Chinese are going to go, hey, I love these black people. They said niggas so great. You're going to It's not going to happen. They go, what, 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 what are they teaching? That they're the people of the Lord and they're going to rule us. They're going to hate your guts. That's why you see many Israelites, they look for a group that waters down the gospel. No, we're not going to rule. We're all going to be equals in the kingdom. And the brothers go, okay, we can roll with that group because they're safe. They're not getting the kingdom. Christ said, you must drink the drink that I drink and be baptized with my baptism. Read. And he saith unto them, ye shall drink indeed of my cup. And be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. Mm -hmm. Right. What happens is that they was saying they go into what is called, I call it safe mode. Right. Safe mode is when you go, you start saying things like, Osirith, it's not America. 
America is not Babylon. We're not really in captivity. We have jobs. We can travel. We can travel the world. So it's not really, there's different levels of captivity, different levels of captivity. It's different, you know, like it's captive and it's, it's captive. <laughs> no, nigga. You in slavery, period. Sorry, I'm using my language. But, that is, but that's the safe mode. Reprobate mode goes into safe mode. But make sure you know, you know what? Ours is not America. America's not Babylon. We, hell, we all Israel, spiritually. You're Israel. I'm Israel. Keep the faith in Christ. We're all Israel. We're all God's people. Right. Just give it time. Give it time. Exactly. Let's go back to Galatians chapter 5. I want verse 10 again because I, 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 I do want to bring something up. I have yeah. confidence in you through the Lord that you will be none otherwise minded. But he that troubleth you, that he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. You're going to bear your judgment. You trouble his gospel. You trouble the men and women following the Lord. You're going to bear your judgment. Watch this. Let's see what kind of judgment you're going to get. Give me um, Galatians 1, 7 and 8. Galatians you chapter 1. You want to throw videos up and humiliate and embarrass brothers and sisters? You're going to bear your judgment. And your goal is, it ain't the man or the woman you show in the video. It's to put blame on the ministry to destroy the ministry. That's your goal. That's your aim. Don't think we don't see you, Weasel Eel. Don't think God don't see you. He sees your tactics. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Read. Galatians chapter 1, verse 7. Which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. See what that troubling deals with? Perverting the gospel of Christ. That's what it deals with. Watch this. But though we, or an angel from heaven, Preach any other gospel unto you. You come with any other teaching. Go ahead. Than that which he have preached unto you. Let him be a curse. Let him be what? A curse. Let him be what? Let him be a curse. So when we say it, don't think it's a personal thing when we say you are accursed. It's biblical. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. It is strictly biblical. So when we say you men and women that left out of here teaching a strange doctrine are accursed, it's because the Bible says so. Read as we said before, so say I now again. He said, I'm going to repeat it in case some of you are slow of mind. Go ahead. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. He said it two times. He said, damn it, I got to say it again in this letter. Because mm -hmm. you know people be in denial. And denial is not a river in Africa. They go, no, I'm in denial. I'm in denial. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to... Uh, from there, give me First Ezra 5. First Ezra 5, verse 72 and 73. Y'all know this one. We read this quite a bit. Right, they in denial getting baptized. And clue we know that too. First Ezra chapter 5, verse 72. But the heathen of the land, lying heavy, lying heavy, Upon the inhabitants of Judea and holding them straight, hindered their building. See that they were hindering the servants of God from doing their work, building the temple, the wall at this time. Go ahead. And by their secret plots, there were many secret plots against the disciples, against the followers of the Lord. Go ahead. And popular persuasions. Popular persuasions. Like when you think about it today, give me a name, name some popular persuasions today. What do people, what? Politics is a popular persuasion. LG, Religion. LGBT. LG, yeah, all those things are popular that people, the masses of the people are followed. They are easily persuaded by these mass um, media. Thank you. Go ahead. And by their secret plots and popular persuasions and commotions. And commotions. They hindered the finishing of the building. They hindered the finishing of the building. Go ahead. All the time that King Cyrus lived, so they were hindered from building for the space of two years until the reign of Darius. So they were hindered from doing the work for two years because of secret plots, commotions, and popular persuasions. It's no different than what Christ and the disciples went through. No difference at all. Guess what? I'm saying all that. I'm leading us somewhere. It's no different than us today. Give me the video. The day. The day shall come. Now, there was a, uh, <laughs> I had to laugh at this video when I saw it. I, I did laugh because remember years ago they were going to do a video, a movie called, don't play it yet, called um, Asher. Asher, where it was about a little a northern kingdom brother who comes among him and he's plotting to overthrow with guns. As, I said, don't play it. I'm, 
Okay. I was about to get you over there. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's the computer's fault. No one's about to say. Oh, anyway, they got so much fl- uh, heat back because they're going to have Danny Glover in the movie yeah. and Mackay Pfeiffer. Yeah. They didn't do it. So they came out with this one. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Give, go out of that. Give me the Wikipedia thing. Give me the Wikipedia about this movie. The name of this movie is The Day Shall Come. Okay, this is about what the movie is about. Uh, is it upcoming? Uh, Liam, yes, Liam. yes, sir. The Day Shall Come is an upcoming 2019 British-American satirical, satirical, sustain, thank you, satirical. satirical black comedy thriller film written by Chris Morris and Jesse Armstrong and directed by Morris. The film stars Marchant Davis, Anna Kendrick, Daniel Brooks, and Dennis O'Hare the film exploits the farce of the heart of the real life FBI sting operations. Now, they're making jokes, but there's reality and truth behind this. Jump down to locations. Captain Isaac has shared this with me. Go down to location. Uh, not lo- uh, production, production. The film was shot in secret in the Dominican Republic from the summer of 2017 into 2018. Additional photography took place in March 2018. Why you got to film in secret? It's a comedy. What's the secret about? Because the movie is trying to humiliate the Israelites. Now go to the clip. Go to the video. Blow it up. Now wait, 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 wait. Before you play it. Now there's a lot of Israelite camps. Now you may think, oh, this is ISUPK. It very. It looks like them to me, but. When you think at it spiritually, when Esau don't attack just one group, you got to think of it, Esau, when he come come for one, he comes for all. So the joke is really against all Israelites. Okay, watch. Oh, wait, 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 in case you don't, no, no, I'll say it after. Prepare ye for the day that approaches is the day of the great revolution. Are you ready to rule? We are ready to rule. May you live to see the accidental dominance of the white race overthrown. Cool. You're going to pitch me the next 9-11. What about this guy, Moses Shabazz? Classic lone wolf. Uh, there's four of them, actually. Duck wolf. Pack of lone wolves. Had to happen. My mission is to change the lives of poor people without the gun weapon. Let's offer this Moses Shabazz some funds. He could set up a meeting with a rich ISIL sheikh. Perhaps your army needs weapons? No. We don't believe in guns. If necessary, we'll call on the dinosaurs. But at the sound of a trumpet, they will come to our aid. I think he's delusional. Yeah, schizophrenia plays. You're being played, Mo. What if I'm playing them? Whoever it is is playing me. Could you pay someone to inform upon themselves? You want to inform on yourself? Would you be interested? He's got the threat signature of a hot dog. Peace, brothers! Uh, Jihad has no off switch. Next thing you know, the Statue of Liberty's wearing a burqa. And we've beheaded Bruce Springsteen. Just get him back out there to blow up a skyscraper, or I'll drop the case. Okay, so we have to get him a fake nuke. I'll take a better idea if you got one. How about not selling nukes to Nazis? Uranium. It'll put hair on your chest and make it fall off. I am just a guy talking to another guy, trying to send a third guy to jail. I'm calling in a full arm response. Shit, a pineapple. He's got an arm! Unarmed black man, unarmed white man. Which one's more likely to have the gun? I'm gonna be sick. It's just the horn they used to summon the dinosaurs. You think this is gonna work out? No. Well, all righty then. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I see. <laughs> the horn to summon the dinosaurs is supposed to be the ram's horn. Y'all know that, right? You know how you be. Play it again. I just want to show y'all something. Go play from the beginning. I want that ready to rule thing. You brothers better do it right. Don't mess me up. Put the camera on the brothers. Ye for the day that approaches is the day of the great revolution. Are you ready to rule? We are ready to rule. Stop. May you live Brothers, are you ready to rule? Yes, sir. Oh, praise. That's what I'm talking about right there. And you got three people. We are ready to rule. Man, I couldn't stop laughing. I saw this thing. <laughs> when a little kid, a little kid, man, shoot. 
Wow. So, watch this. Give me uh, Psalms 22 and verse uh, 7. We are ready to rule. But, now, although it's a joke, they're making mockery of Israelites. Don't think, because remember, there was some time ago where they got three brothers from, they were Trinidadian, and I believe they worked in LaGuardia, one of the airports. And the FBI was talking with them, trying to convince them that they should uh, buy weapons. And there was an undercover FBI guy. And they had agreed, although they never bought weapons or any type of thing, they got arrested. Be mindful of people coming to y'all like that on the side. I understand what I'm saying. Uh, they're trying to sell, like the nukes, like they were saying in the, in the video, in the movie. It's, gonna, it's fake, but they'll use that to say, oh, you are potentially a terrorist. I remember somebody started sending me emails about purchasing all manner of types of weapons. I said, delete, delete, blocks? What the hell is this? I already saw it a mile away. That's what they do. And sometimes, brothers, they will send a woman to you. So if you're weak-minded, brothers, be mindful. And she ain't going to be busted either when they send it to you. Where we at? Psalms 22 and verse 7. Come on. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. Was that it? They shoot out the lip. They shake the head saying. So now, what I, was that the whole verse, Leo? Yes, sir. Okay. The t what I want you to see is that what they do to the servants of the Lord is laugh at us, mock at us. That's what they're doing here in this upcoming movie. Watch this. Get Matthew 27, verse 29, because it is the precept for Psalms 22, verse 7. Matthew 27, verse 29. Watch what Christ says. Matthew chapter 27, verse 29. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, And what? And mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. So our enemies mocked Christ. That's what they did. Get Mark 15, 20. And that's what Psalms 22 is going into, the mockery of the Lord, which goes into So Christ said, if they did it to me, they're going to do it to you too. Everybody with me so far? Mark 15 and verse 20. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple from him and put his own clothes on him and led him out to crucify and him. And that's why we have the purple on. They mocked Christ with purple. Okay, so don't think it's a, on a whim, let's just wear purple. No, because they mocked our king with it. So now we're going to teach the gospel and tear down this kingdom with the word of the Lord. Everybody with me? Yes, All praises. So from there, give me Sirach 27, verse 28. Sirach 27, verse 28. And when I say tear down the kingdom, I hope y'all understand with the word of God. You men understand that? Yes, sir. Wow, in case there's some... Uh, uh, yeah, they're going to edit that and go, sir, sir, look what he said. Yeah, exactly. Where are we going? Sirach 27, 28. Sirach 27 and verse 28. Mockery and reproach are from... You're in Sirach? Yes, sir. Sirach 27 and verse 28. 27 and verse 28. Go ahead. Mockery and reproach are from the proud. Mockery and reproach are from the proud. But vengeance as a lion shall lie in wait for them. So understand that. And that's what another scripture says. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Give me um, Jude 1 verse 18. Jude verse 18. So they're going to mock us, okay? We are ready to rule. Jude. And what are they calling the dinosaurs? Remember there was a dude on YouTube that said he could pray to UFOs to come? Yeah, yeah. Anybody remember that? He would go out there and go, ah, la, 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 and a UFO would come out of the sky. They go, see? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Jude 18. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time. When? In the last time. So if they mocked our Lord, don't think they're not going to mock us. They're going to mock us. And that's what we're seeing now. The mockery. Was that it? Who should walk after their own ungodly lust. Mm -hmm. Get Galatians 6 verse 7. Why are they mocking me? It's going to happen. 
Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right, because people think they're mocking us. You're really mocking the Lord. Because we're coming with the words of the Lord. Oh, everybody with me so far? Okay, all right. Give me the article um, on the FBI. Leaked FBI. All right, can we blow that up bigger? We don't need nothing on the side. We don't need none of that stuff on the sides. Okay. There we go. Officer Leon? Yes, sir. Leaked FBI documents reveal bureau priorities under Trump by Ken Klippenstein. When, what, when was this published? August 8th, 2019. Okay. Go ahead. I got it. Under President Trump, the FBI's official... Counterterrorism prior priorities have included black identity extremists, anti-authority extremists, and animal rights environmental extremists. Now, this black identity extremist. Hold, let's 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 go back to what uh, Representative uh, Bass said about that. There's a video on uh, Representative Bass is her name. B A S S is a video I sent to you, right there. She discussed with Jeff Sessions about. Black extremism, about black identity extremism. Blow it up. We're going to watch this video. Chair, recognize the gentlewoman from California, Ms. Bass, for five minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, between 1956 and 1971, the FBI ran a counterintelligence program named COINTELPRO that was initiated by J. Edgar Hoover. COINTELPRO mainly targeted civil rights leaders such as Martin Luther King, and it's commonly understood that this was an abuse of its surveillance power in a manner to suppress a peaceful movement. Right. So, uh, I would like to ask Mr. Chair unanimous consent to enter this report into the record, which is black identity extremists likely motivated to target law enforcement officers. I believe stop, earlier stop, you said course. you were. So they're saying that black people will attack law enforcement officers. That's what this whole thing crap is supposedly going into. Go ahead. You're not familiar with the report. Is that correct? Well, well I haven't read it. I know um, some of the alleged uh, targeting. Stop. And they always um, lie. These people, if you, I watch, sit there and watch some of these things, they always, I don't, I'm not familiar with it. I'm not sure. I've never read it. They're lying. Go ahead. Officers uh, by Okay, so I, I would group. like to know, and I'll ask you about that in a minute. So you um, are somewhat familiar with it. Who had the power in your department to order a report like this? I'm not sure how that report got ordered. I don't believe I explicitly uh, approved it or directed it. Okay, Ryan. so uh, you're not, you haven't necessarily read the report, but you are familiar with the term black identity extremists? Well, I think so, yes. So could you tell me what that term means to you? Do you believe that there is a movement of African Americans that identify themselves as black identity extremists, and what does that movement do? Well, I'd, I'd be interesting to see the conclusions of that report, but I'm aware uh, that there are groups that uh, do have an extraordinary commitment to their um, uh, racial identity, uh, okay. and some have transformed themselves even into violent activists. So, are you aware of white uh, organizations that do this as well? Given that white supremacy is well-documented, well-researched movements such as the neo-Nazis, the Ku Klux Klan, etc., are they white identity extremists? I, I didn't follow that question. See that? See how these devils um, are? Is Damn there demons. a term or a report on white identity extremists? You mentioned you were familiar with black people who identify with their racial identity. Yes, <laughs> but it's not coming to me at this moment. Damn demons. Not coming to you? Uh, hey, it's um, certainly a group such as the Ku Klux Klan. Yes, the and then the skinhead movements, but there's a racial identity white movements uh, that have been identified for sure. So has the FBI done a report on white identity extremists that are likely motivated to target law enforcement officers? Um, Is there I'm not aware report? of that. Okay, yeah, uh, no. are you aware of a group called the Sovereign Citizens? I've heard that group, yes. And I believe that the Sovereign Citizens is primarily a white organization that absolutely has targeted police officers and killed police officers. Right. You're not aware of that? I'm not aware of Tell all me. their crimes, but I know they're Lying a group that's uh, snake. 
uh, known to have violent tendencies. Could you name an African-American organization that have committed violent acts against police officers? Could you name one today? In this report, they name organizations from 30, 40 years ago, but can you name of one today that has targeted uh, police officers in a violent manner? I believe I could, but I would want to be uh, to confirm uh, that and submit it to you in writing. But I believe we had within the There's last no year or so four that police that. officers killed by a group that some have described as uh, extremists. So what has happened is, is that there have been a couple of incidents in which African Americans did kill police officers who right. were not associated with a black organization. Correct. And so one, for example, in Baton Rouge was associated with sovereign citizens, which is primarily a white group. So you should know that there's a lot of concern in the community, especially from organizations such as Black Lives Matter. By the way, would you consider Black Lives Matter a uh, black identity extremist group? Um, I'm not able to comment on that. I'm not, a, no, I no, have no, not no, so no. declared it. So you should know that a lot of activists around the country are very concerned that we're getting ready to repeat a very uh, sad chapter of our history, where people who are rightfully protesting what they consider to be an injustice in their community, which is their uh, relationship uh, with police officers, are now being targeted and labeled as extremists and are going through periods of surveillance and harassment. And so I would like to know, what is your department going to do to protect the rights of average citizens to protest if they have a concern about police officers? This department will not unlawfully target people. Right. So if that's the case, then I would ask that you review this report, Black Identity, identity Extremists Likely Motivated to Target Law Enforcement Officers, because I personally don't believe that any such organizations exist. The organizations that are referred to in this report uh, are organizations from decades ago. And so I would like to know what will you do to essentially roll back what is listed in this report, because it's not accurate. She, she told him, oh, look at him. Sir? I will, he, we will look at the report. <laughs> I actually um, would be interested in reading it. But they usually do an excellent job, objective and fair, on those kind of reports. Okay, well, just... Time of the, time of the gentlewoman has expired. The chair recognized the gentleman. He was glad she got off. So her name is Karen Bass. She's a representative in California. So let's go back to the article now. Go back to the article. Now, let's read this again. Because we stopped at black identity extremists, so I wanted to fill in the gap on what she said. So as a result of her uh, interrogating or interviewing Jeff Sessions, they made a few changes in the report. It's going to explain. Go ahead. Under President Trump, the FBI's official counterterrorism priorities have included black identity extremists, anti-authority extremists, and animal rights environmental environmental extremists, according to the leaked bureau documents obtained exclusively by the Young Turks. The documents, many of which are marked law enforcement sensitive and for, and for official use only, also reference a mysterious plan to mitigate the threat of black identity extremists with the program codenamed Iron Fist, involving the use of under cover agents so what they did they they just altered the names in it and they put this new term iron fist which uses undercover agents now you may ask what does that have to do with back then as related to now it has everything to do with it go back go back to uh acts i'm show you acts 15 and 5 in case you forgot I'm going to go to the past, and I'm bringing it on up to today. Acts 15 and 5. But there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees which believed, saying that it was needful to circumc circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. Now watch this. Precept with it, Galatians 2 and 4. Galatians. Talking about undercover agents now. Go ahead. And that because of false brethren unawares... Brought in. What are these people called today? Undercover agents. That's what it's talking about. False brethren unawares brought in. Brought in by who? You had the scribes, the Pharisees, send people in at the behest of Rome. Go ahead. Who came in privily to spy out our liberty. Observe them. Record them. 
Go ahead. Which we have in Christ Jesus that they might bring us into bondage. Watch this. Luke 20, verse 20. They did the same thing with Christ. So I just want y'all to see is nothing happening today that did not happen to the foreparents in the past. Luke 20, verse 20. And they watched him and sent forth spies. Sent forth what? Sent forth spies, which had feigned themselves just men. Feign means faked. They faked themselves as just men. That they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. How would they take hold of his words? Record him. Record him. Trying to get him caught up, trapped in his words. There's nothing different that happened back then that's happening now. A lot of these people that was with us, now I won't say a lot, some of them that was with us, yes, they were undercover agents or informants. I'll use that word. Confidential informants. Let's go yeah, back. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I just had to put that little pause so it could marinate on some of your brains out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. like when you're looking at this whole movement, at least Malcolm X, uh, when Malcolm X came in the picture, at least Bishop, some black brothers noticed what the brother was doing. They come to him and say, you know that we are informed. That's right. what against. Mm -hmm. These niggas today, excuse my language, these niggas today, they are pill demons. They are laughing in your face. Mm -hmm. They see that you're trying to change the mind of your people. Exactly. You understand? They will report you to the government. They will These niggas are here, man. Excuse my language again. They're like wicked brothers, man. Hey, they're going to get their judgment. They're going to get their <laughs> hey, judgment. Um, Bishop, you remember that time I interrupted the class to show the phone? I made a big deal of brothers who was with us that left, but they still stood on our social media they were snapshotting Captain Isaac's bank statement, personal conversation. That's spy stuff. Men, real men of God don't do stuff like that. This is stuff that I'm seeing for the first time ever in my life. Recording conversations. Recording conversations. For years. Keeping stuff for years. Keeping records. Keeping texts. That's not normal behavior of a brother that's in the truth that's trying to serve God. Okay? You leave. You announce that you left. But now you're holding on to stuff later on to use to try and bring down somebody later hey, on. Asaph, in the world, people don't do stuff people like that. People don't do stuff like, think about it. Who do you see in the world do stuff like that? That's not normal behavior. Y'all got to stop and y'all got to think like the bishop said. That's why I said before, a lot of you are going to get condemned because of your silence. Because you'll sit back and you'll see it and you'll just stay quiet. And you won't say nothing. You'll act like you don't see it. And you'll watch what they're doing, and you're not outraged. You're not shocked or nothing. You just sit back quiet. Right. And you notice the ones that complain that, we, that they were done, that uh, they were wrongfully done, uh, well, we did them wrong. Yeah. They'll come with madness. We stay straight in the scriptures. There's no strain. There's no left or right. We stay, they go into madness. America's not Babylon. Yeah. Esau ain't the white man anymore. Yeah. That's madness. So based upon the madness, they, their, their actions justify being put, up, being put out in the first place. But to Not against us, against themselves. Deacon Atan, when I first, I think I just came back, work, I just, just laying down, listening to the thing. The thing was this, first verse, Bishop, was Leviticus 5 and 1, brother. You understand? That's what the brother quote. Leviticus said, but! <laughs> that's it. That's uh, the spirit. I didn't listen to that thing no more, man. I just went to sleep. Because to show you, man, that was not the case in the first place. But then, and then my challenge to that brother is, did he ever come to the deacons and play that tape and say, this is what I have? See what our judgment was. He never did that. But he went to the media play, though. Mm -hmm. To show you that was never about building the congregation in the first place. That was to destroy it, like Bishop said. Bring it to the ground. Brother, listen. Uh, IUIC was not built by no man. This is man, one thing you have to understand. If you are a failure of the gospel, are you actually going to reveal you a failure? You never, you was never ended in the first place. As long as you exists, that proves their failure. You're a failure. You're, like a you're a loser. You're a garbage. That's what you was. You're a garbage now. You're a garbage then. Straight up. This is the hammer. Clap your hands for yourself. <laughs> Clap your hands for yourself. Clap your hands for yourself. <laughs> and, and like he just said, the smart thing to do is not take it and bring it to YouTube. Come to us. And prove that we who are, we are who we say we are. Okay? Because what did Christ say? If you catch somebody in something, go to them one-on-one. -on -one. Exactly. If they don't hear you, get two or three witnesses. Right. If they don't want to hear the two or three witnesses, do what? 
bring it before the, why he skipped that step exactly why he didn't say you know what these niggas are wicked and i'm gonna prove it i'm gonna bring it before the church why run to youtube cointel pro told you just go straight to youtube there with you what go. you got there you go go straight to the public with it exactly okay think hey asaf when now i'm gonna tell you the little i'm gonna, I'm gonna call him what he is a little spick he did uh mention it to me and I said to him, I said, well, according to Matthew 18, if you got, a, if you got something against a brother, you go to him one-on-one. So the brother he had an issue with, y'all all know who I'm referring to, the brother. The real brother, I ain't talking about the spick. The real brother, uh, say to the brother, hey, this brother has issues with you. You need to speak to him. So he spoke to the brother, and I said, like the next week, so what happened? Everything's good. So I call a witness. I said, did they make peace? Made peace. Come December? It's on YouTube. I'm like, what the hell? This is some evil SH. This, I said, I can't, you can't make this stuff up. This is wicked as hell. So, back to the, let's get back to the article now. <sighs> Where are we at now? Second paragraph? Yes, sir. Okay. Each fiscal year, the FBI headquarters updates its consolidated strategy guide which lists the Bureau's priorities in numerous domains such as counterterrorism, counterintelligence, and cybercrime. When, when an August 2017 internal FBI report referencing the counterterrorism threat posed by, posed by black identity extremists was published by Foreign Policy, the FBI became the subject of intense criticism for adopting what critics alleged was a Racially loaded term. That's what we saw with uh, Representative Karen, pa Karen Bass. Go ahead. What was not publicly known, however, was the not only had the FBI adopted the term, it specifically listed it as a top counterterrorism priority in its, 20, in its 2018 strategy guide, referring to the group as a priority domestic terrorism target. Right, not white nationalists as priority, but black people. Go ahead. And no gun. With no guns. With no guns. No guns. And even established a program to counteract the supposed threat. While the documents depict concerns about violent black extremist attacks, they do not cite a single specific attack. There's never been an attack by any group upon law enforcement ever. Go ahead. Not unlike, in recent decades. Unlike white supremacist attacks. Right. Of which several prominent examples are provided. Furthermore, although the FBI last month reported, reportedly assured Senate Democrats that it had dropped the term in black identity extremists in favor of one. So the FBI said, we, we dropped that term. Go ahead. That isn't race specific. The documents suggest that, that this was misleading. Despite changing the name, the Bureau retained much of the original definition and still targeted black people. So they went from black identity extremists to iron fist. It's the same spiel or the same spiel. Go ahead. So grave did the Bureau consider the threat of black extremists that from 2019 to 2020, using new designations, elicit the threat at the very top of its counterterrorism priorities above even terror groups like Al-Qaeda. You see that crap? Y'all see that? They said black people are more of a threat than Al-Qaeda. That's some <laughs> evil stuff right there. Okay, now watch this. I gotta, I gotta show it. Go ahead, Lava. Yeah, you know, there's just the same thing. The Egyptian. You remember the Egyptians when we was under him? Uh, when we was under the Egyptian, they said, you know what? If we don't deal with Israel wisely, they're gonna join against us with our own enemy. The white man know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. You see, there was a there was a document came out where uh, when they're talking about when you say they're talking about black terrorists or black or whatever name they want to cl claim it, identify. It's talking about the Israelite. Yes, yes. It's not, I'm telling you, he's not talking about any type of ways. He's talking about the Israelite. They're trying to tell, they're trying to bring their identity, who they are. That's what they're against. You understand? That's why they call it identity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold up, because we're coming back to this article. We just put up the title of the next article that Captain Zakar just sent me. Thank you, Captain Zakar. All we want is the title. Now, if I say it, I said this in a, in a video on YouTube. They took me down for hate speech. So just read the title. Just read the title. Okay, it's loading. It's loading. Just stand. Bear with us. It's loading. It's loading. You know they took down the video. 15 hours of bloodshed. Just took it down. 
They said, no, it's hate speech. I'm like, hate speech? Re read the title, Officer Leon. The FBI admits Black Lives Matter was never a threat. It's white people you should be worried about. There you go. That's the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. That is the truth. They're the ones with all the mass shootings and all that. And let me tell you that new law they put up about if you shoot two or more people, it's going to be considered mass, mass um, murder and you're going to get the capital punishment. Guess who that's going to affect first? These dumb black boys that, with the gang shootings. Let them hit two or three, capital punishment. They're going to be crying for their mama. What do you say, Joe? It's like that in Texas. See that? All these laws they put in, oh, it's for white people. No, they're going to get black people. So all you dumb nicks, um, you dumb, you know who you are. Can I say niggas? Niggas out there going around shooting your people and you get capital punishment. Don't ask why. Now you know why. You want them to do it. Oh, you want to do Oh, look at the white people getting killed. Yeah, and now you shooting your own people. Now you're getting capital punishment. Hey, we can't help you. Let's go back now to the original article. Right here. Right here. Black identity extremists. What's in a name? By 2019, the FBI had indeed replaced its 2018 counterterrorism priority black identity extremists with the vaguer designation racially motivated ex extremism. Racially motivated extremism. Wow. Good. According to the Bureau's FY 2018-20 to counterterrorism strategy guides obtained by TYT. In addition to the strategy guides, TYT also obtained FBI threats guidances associated with many of the counterterrorism priorities. These guidances detail the nature of the threats as well as how the Bureau plans to counteract them. Despite the new term, racially motivated extremism, a, a 2019 threat guidance defines the new priority as including black racially motivated extremism, a term that appears repeatedly in the document and includes much of the same definition of the 2018 black identity extremists. Racially motivated extremism generally includes white racially motivated extre extremism, previously referred to as white supremacy extremism and black racially motiv motivated extremism, previously referred as black identity extremism, the FBI document states. The FBI's new 2020 counterterrorism priorities changed the designation yet again, this time to racially motivated violent extremism. <laughs> However, the new term also includes much of the same definition of the 2018 black identity extremists. The 2020 threat guidance states, RMV, RMVS, racially motivated violent extremists, use force or violence in violation of criminal law in response to perceived racism and injustice in American society, or in an effort to establish a separate black homeland or autonomous black social institutions, communities, or governing organizations within the United States. Read that again. The 2020 threat guidance states RMV racially motivated racially motivated violent extremists use force or violence in violation of criminal law in response to perceived racism and injustice in American society or in an effort to establish a separate black homeland or autonomous black social institutions, communities, or governing organizations within the United States. See that? Now this is, all that's supposed to be a, a governing an organization within, the, that's supposed to be allowed. But they cha they're changing everything now. They don't want that. They don't want black social institutions. You see that? So isn't somebody supposed to be building a black school for boys? Yeah. They're going to be against that. What's his name? Ron Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, they're going to be against that too. And the guy says perceived racism as if it's perception. It does not really exist. Perceived right. racism. No, it is racism. But it's perceived. They perceive as racist. Let's look at the word. Exactly. Go back. I mean, read. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. The 2018 threat guidance defines black identity extremists in nearly identical fashion, saying members use force or violence in violation of criminal law in response to perceived racism and injustice in American society. Some do so in f furtherance of establishing a separate black homeland or autonomous black social institutions, communities, or governing organizations. The FBI judges some RMVE perceptions of police brutality against African Americans served as justification for premeditated retaliatory violence against law enforcement in 2016, the document states. Mm. 
origins of the threat. The 2018 threat guidance strongly suggests that the black identity extremist term emerged from the Black Lives Matter movement, specifically the 2014 shooting of black teen Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, and its aftermath. The FBI judges uh, BIE perceptions of b- police brutality against African Americans have likely motivated acts of premeditated retaliatory lethal violence against law enforcement, the document states. Right. Deacon, y'all also brought out a point. You see that part about this, um, uh, where is it, about uh, governing organizations and black social institutions and community. You see that part, communities? See the word communities? Remember Black Wall Street? That was a community. They bombed Black Wall Street. You know how they like to say, why don't you do, go, go do your own thing? The second our people said, okay, we will. We did it, and they said, drop dynamite from the planes and kill all. That's what they did. Go ahead. Where you at, Liam? Uh, the threat. The threat guidance goes on to attribute the threat in part to violent rhetoric on social media as well as media attention now, generally. Her. The threat guidance goes on to attribute the threat in part to violent rhetoric on social media. That's what we tell everyone. Be careful what you're saying on social media. Just use it to teach the gospel. That's it. Don't be on there like the idiot from the other Israelite camp. We should kill everybody in this school. Shoot them up. Wicked as hell. This is what they're talking about, these dumb people. Remember a dude got arrested last week on social media, running his mouth, threatening to kill somebody. No, he wasn't with us. Idiot. But he's Israelite. Go ahead. The threat to law enforcement from BIE is likely to remain elevated and may continue to expand. See that? They're going to expand it. Go ahead. Driven in part by continued calls for violent action on social media. Be careful, social media. Go ahead. The document says. Now, watch this. Let me tell you what these under these informant, undercover. Now, undercover agent and a confidential informant is different. A confidential informant can usually be a somebody that got caught out there. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. But there was, remember, they put out sort of saying we put a hit out on the sister Joy Moore, which was a lie, a complete lie. This is what they do on social media. And some of y'all are foolish enough, oh, maybe they put a hit out. Bruh, and the, and the ones running their mouth never met the sister Joy Morgan. Or us. Never. Or us. You got to remember that woman that looked like Miss Cleo that started saying it was a blood sacrifice. She had the, the, the uh, wrap, head wrap and everything running her mouth. And every minute, ooh, I got new tea. And she was all animated and all live and just making up crazy stuff. Okay, and nobody wasn't calling her on it, but she was doing just what the bishop was saying, making things up, outlandish stuff, and everybody just watching it and listening to her. She never met the sister, and she never met not one of us. Exactly. exactly. Where we at, Leon? The, the FBI assesses racially charged events, coupled with the widespread media attention of the events. Remain contributing factors to the emergence of violent lone offenders within the BIE movement. <laughs> Countering the threat. The document also shed light on the FBI's plans to counter the perceived threat of black extremists. Methods alluded to include undercover employees. Undercover employees. Confidential informants. Confidential informants. And cryptically Iron Fist. So it's really Iron Fist. Iron Fist deals with undercover employees and confidential informants. Who knows what that video is with Lee, with uh, Perry? What's his name? Darfard Perry. There's a scene in there where they flip him. And he says the way they make you a confidential informant is if you get caught on a felony, a misdemeanor, or anything like that, they use that against you. Anybody know what that is? The guy's name was Darfard Perry. But there was a, you know what, there's a clip that you posted, Jonah, from, uh, but Marcus Garvey, Boardwalk Empire. What happens, they catch you, in, it could, no matter how minuscule, they use that, since most people don't know the law, and they flip you. Now, I'm saying all that to say this. Now, I'll show you the clip first. They remind me to say what the weasel did. Darford Perry. It's long, but I just, I can't remember the exact minute he went into it. Yes, that's what I want. That's the one. Where J. Edgar Hoover flipped one of the uh, friends of Marcus Garvey. It's four minutes, but they caught him on something. I, f- I think it was numbers. He's a pimp. He's a pimp. Uh, he uh, numbers. 
numbers. Now, this guy, believe it or not, this guy helped fund, he bought buildings for Marcus Garvey. He did a lot with the money he made from pimping and all that. He did believe in his friend Marcus Garvey, and he helped finance a lot of what he did. But Hoover caught him on something, on the, him being a pimp and all that. Watch what happens. Now, this is on YouTube already, so they shouldn't flag it. That's Hoover right there, J. Edgar Hoover. One of the FBI buildings is named after him. Listen good. You entered this country through the port of New Orleans in 1898. Is that correct? I beg your pardon. Is that correct? Who are you? The one asking questions. Damn! 1898, yes. 26 years in the United States. But you are not a citizen. And that is grounds for detaining me, how? Why would you go on living in a country you don't wish to belong to? The exile does not choose his Babylon. He said the exile does not Your, choose his Babylon. Uh, compatriot, Garvey. He thinks you should all return to Africa. That would be an oversimplification of his philosophy. What am I missing? I doubt that I could make you to understand. You seem to be Wait, a pause. clever. He says, I doubt I can make you understand. White folks always want you to explain things to them. We don't have to explain nothing to them. You all understand? This is our Bible written by our forefathers for our people. That's it. Why you gonna That's why the idiot, Mark Reiser, goes around reading, explain it to me. Explain. I ain't going to explain nothing to you. You're a joke. Your time is almost up. The clock is ticking, devil. Where we at? Go ahead. You're clever. Hello. Who do you think it's to decide what the truth is? Hmm. Truth is what those in power wish it to be. During the course of investigating the seditious activities of Marcus Garvey, James M. Tolliver, special agent with the Bureau of Investigation, was murdered. Now, in Atlantic notice what City, he said. New Jersey. Hold pause. He said Marcus Garvey was doing seditious activity. Marcus Garvey was organizing black people to go back to the continent. What was seditious about that? They don't want the slaves to leave. Y'all understand that? Stay here and build Babylon the Great. Build America. That's what they were doing. Right, the crime that Barabbas had committed. Uh, go ahead. See, by an unidentified colored male. Dr. Valentin Narcisse assisted the Bureau in apprehending the suspect. He further agreed in a private conversation with Director Hoover to provide ongoing secret intelligence regarding Mr. Garvey with particular concern to his radical agenda and his ties to foreign powers. Why would he do that? To demonstrate his commitment to the values of his adopted land. Brother Garvey is a hero, devoted to the liberation of a great Pause right people. there. Now you heard he said Brother Garvey is a hero, devoted to the liberation of, of his people. Now, remember, they arrested him on some minuscule uh, uh, mail fraud because he put an advertisement for a ship that he wanted that had not yet been purchased yet. So they said, oh, mail fraud, because you had to send in, I think he was asking for, I forget how much, 20-something dollars or two, I can't remember the price. But they said, oh, mail fraud. To this day, he's still listed as a criminal. And they have, every year, new pres every four years, a new president comes, Jamaica writes, many brothers and sisters in England and America write the president and say, can you remove his name or pardon him from the crime he allegedly committed? The answer is no. Even your president, Obama, said no. 
Why? They didn't want the, our people to see him as any kind of a hero at all. Okay? Play on. But you are not. You are just a peddler and a pimp. Sitting in a jail cell. I am a businessman and a follower of Christ. You agree to cooperate. You can Stop. go on. He said he's a follower of... A lot of people like to say that the great leaders of the past didn't deal with the Bible. They all dealt with the Bible. The Bible is the key to our liberation. Do y'all understand that? Yes, Come on now. Come on back. Pretending to be anything you want. You don't. And I will make sure you never see daylight in America again. Sufficient unto the days of the evil thereof. I cannot hear you. I said. Yes. What? Yes. Sir. So they flipped him. Y'all saw that? Now what did he mumble under his breath? Sufficient is the evil of a day. You know what I'm talking about? Christ said that. Sufficient is the day of the evil thereof. I mean, it's evil every day, pretty much. But this is how they get you to become a... That's not a, a paid employee... That's a confidential uh, informant, okay? Everybody with me so far? That's how they get you. They get you on something. Now, I'm going back to the weasel. Back to Weasel Eel, who, remember he had doing the, um, the, not welfare, what was that crap? Uh, when you get, un you get fired from a job and you collect unemployment, and he was collecting from New Jersey and New York, and he got a letter stating he owed thousands upon thousands. Right after, and I, sh I slept, I let my senses slip. How did that? All that went by me. I saw it. I heard him. I said, you better fix that thing. Then years later, Shazam. There's a tape which from two to three years, he was recording people. I'm like, this dude got flipped. He's the devil, that spick devil. <laughs> that is some evil stuff. Now, there's another brother. Y'all might know who I'm talking. I ain't going to mention his name. When they asked the brother to be a... Now, this is over. I ain't going to even say where because they're going to figure it out. They asked the brother to be a confidential informant. So my first thought was, do it. We ain't doing nothing but teaching the Bible. But then the thought comes, what if they plant something on us and set us up? That's what a CFI can do also. You know? And this is why we want to make sure that the uh, deep cleans is done. Make sure y'all get on point. I'm gonna, after we get offline, I'm going to mention the deep clean. Like under this table here? No, 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 no. Cannot be. So this is how they get you, brothers and sisters. Don't sleep on the sisters. Never sleep on the women. Like I told y'all, in the court, the, the brother's been found guilty. Hey, you're going to get to judgment. And our condol condolences definitely to the family of our sister Joy. We pray they find the body. Anyway, um, I told you the idiots that was with us, Some from one dude came from ISUPK, joined Esau against us on the stand. One sister went up there and said, their security is set up like this. The women sit over here. The men sit over here. They got three doors. There's several exits. Gave the whole layout. They pointed out who the captain's in the courtroom. Here's the captain right there. There's Y'all don't, th I'm sitting there like, that's not normal stuff. This is stuff planned. Understand what I'm saying? All of that. Go back to the article now. Go right hey, back hey, to the Bishop, article. Hey, you forgot. Which one of y'all sisters in here, a man told you to call them master? Because she said that we ordered the sisters to call us master. What school is that that that's going on? Please tell me now in any location we have where the women are being ordered to call the men master. Okay, remember when it was time to take down Christ, they got people to false witnesses. Just like you see it now. They trying to catch this man to find out did he do something to what that got to do with the layout of the school and titles of the people in, in the organization and making things up saying that we say for the woman to call the, the, the men master. Yo, the lies is unbelievable. That's why I said, you know what? I'm only staying quiet. I, I got to give you rope. 
That's the way I am. I know some uh, some idiot gonna say something, and then that's when let the games begin. So I, I just got to sit back and watch who's feeding into the lies right. and the rhetoric and the nonsense. That's where we are, right? It don't even make no sense to address it now. I just need to see how stupid the people are. That's where I'm at. Right, like, I'm going to give you an example of how stupid you could be. Let's say, for example, I have, I go to a store, I go to a Walmart, and I encounter a, an employee, and the employee is rude, disrespectful. Do I go and blame the entire Walmart for the act of one man exactly in that place and tell you where all the whole layout of the of the Walmart, the whole Walmart is where the cash is at <laughs> where, they where got the, the janitor signs. puts his bucket <laughs> yo we were taught it man that's retarded so that's an example of what I mean when it comes to Edom and Negroes experience rude employees the gump, the company will deal with that employee alone they will not address the entire business itself that's common sense but the Negro will go oh man I was wrong by him they're all Evil. You know how retarded that is? That's the mind of the black that's the mind of a black person. That's the mind. Yo, let me tell you how dumb condo men can be. You know, like, yeah, we might sit here and saying that, you know, a former this, then they said uh brothers that. But at the end of the day, like Bishop just said, what just happened is not norm. So you we are we're already more smarter than you, more ahead of you. We already know your game. You understand? So don't think and we stupid. I mean, your mistake is our eyes. <laughs> you understand? So when you see a things like they're gonna, this is where what they got to do with anything to show on you, even though they're women. Be very mindful, man. And There's a lot the, of women too. The scriptures mm. let you know that you'll know who you, a, a set of friends shall be known in adversity, right. and you know who your real enemies are when things go wrong. You imagine this group bragging that they've been around since the 1960s. It's now coming uh, from total another Israelite group. Got nothing to do with what's going on. I want to go and testify. Okay? ISUPK member down there in England saying, I want to go and for what? This got nothing to do with you. Okay? But that's how the Most High made things out. I told y'all before, before things go down, Most High going to separate the real from the fake. And they give all those speeches about the white man, the white man, the white man. They're the first ones in the trial on the stand to testify. And not to testify against the brother, to testify against Israel United in Christ. Right. Like you, we were on trial. We didn't do nothing. Exactly. If you got evidence against him that could bring it out and, and prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that he's wicked and he did it, do that. We applaud you. Right. But the purpose of him coming there was for what? Y'all got to ask yourself, for what? Okay? It was just to say... Now I see that there's a chance to bring these niggas down. I'm going in. Okay? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.